Here they come. They're off and trotting. There goes Cantation for the lead. Volhat is there. Prize victory between horses. And Volhat is off stride, heading into the first turn. Volhat has made a break. Finn gets him to the far outside of turn number one, but he has to wrestle him under control. And by the time he does that, he's going to be last, and he's going to have better than 25 lengths to make up on the leader. Cantation moves up to get the lead by two. Major Correction is off stride. Custom Cleared moves up around the outside of the Breaking Trotter in the second, the opening quarter in 27 and 3. There goes Custom Cleared, up to challenge Cantation for the lead. A gap of eight back to Victory Abroad, who's closing that margin from third. Prized Victory is racing in fourth down the back stretch. Then Sir Valahad, who is fifth. Right to Strike is racing in sixth. Meadow Branch Pete is seventh. Volhot, after that break, is eighth. He is 25 lengths off the lead still, and it's a long way back to Major Correction, who trails through a half in 56 and 3. Custom Cleared is on top by a length and a half. Cantation getting a good trip now in second. Gap of two to Victory Abroad. Prized Victory is a close up fourth. Sir Valahad is fifth. Right to Strike is sixth. And those top six are all single file midway on the last turn. Volhot is seventh, and he is still 18 lengths off the lead. They're at the three-quarter mile mark. Custom cleared, leading Cantation by a length. Victory abroad is third. Prized victory takes to the outside, off three quarters and 127. And victory abroad is also coming off the rail. So prized victory is going to have to go three deep. And he's five lengths off the lead of custom cleared, eighth of a mile to the finish. Custom cleared by two. Cantation, the Springfield base trotter, takes to the outside. He's second. Custom cleared leads a length and a half. Cantation, right to strike, looks for room toward the inside. Custom cleared, right to strike up the rail. Custom cleared, hanging on by a half length. A 23 to 1 long shot, a huge upset here in the first division of the Greyhound. Custom cleared in 157 and 2. As being owned by James Moss of British Columbia. He now lives in Osgood, Ontario. There's the photo for third, by the way. Number eight, Cantation, was third. Folks, it's the first time the Moss family of Canada has ever raced at the Illinois State Fair and they pull an enormous upset. Ladies and gentlemen, James and Clayton Moz and Custom Cleared. 157 and two, this two-year-old giant hit Colt Knox just over seven full seconds off his lifetime record. Clayton Moss, the driver, is owner-trainer James Moss's son. Garth Henry and Ruth Irving bred the winner. In the winner's circle, Leona Stephen and Gene Statler will make the presentation of the Greyhound Trophy for this division. And owner-trainer Jim Moss has also received the Caretaker's Medallion from John Cisna of the Review. In just a moment, we're going to talk to Clayton Moss and get his thoughts about racing here at the Illinois State Fair for the first time ever. It is official, 3184 is official, and this one should light up the board of Canada with us. Clayton, as the price has come up on the board, we see that your two-year-old here uh, pulls an enormous upset. I want to ask you, first of all, here's a colt that comes in. He, he shows uh, really nothing faster than a beaten time around 2.03. What made the difference here this afternoon? He's always been uh, a really big track horse, and the half mile is really